So it looks like somebody is still trying to recover from the long weekend we had. But I'm sitting in line waiting to pick up Jacob from school. And this morning before school, I should have got the camera out because it was pretty funny. Jacob was freaking out about his hair because he didn't take a shower last night after getting his hair cut and he still had some gel in his hair so it was still kind of spiked up. But he didn't want to go to school because he was afraid he was going to get in trouble and I kept telling him, I promise you're not going to get in trouble. So we'll see what his reaction is whenever he gets in the car and I'll ask him if he got in trouble. Are we trying to do your homework? I mean, your hair still looks good, cool. dude. What letter are you learning this week? K. K. And so we have to find some pictures that start with a K Cole? and cut them out. It's, it's tricky, isn't it? Cole? No, that's hard yeah. to go see. <laughs> you keep naming all these words that start with a C because they sound the same. C and K. You said car. You said cake. Cookie. All those start with a C. So when you learn the letter C, then you'll know a bunch <laughs> of words, huh? Okay, can you think of another one? What? <laughs> pumpkin. Oh no, a letter starts with pumpkin. Pumpkin? What letter you meant? Mm -hmm. There's a K in pumpkin, but it's like in the middle, not the beginning. It's a P at the beginning. Okay, so I told Dana to look in the refrigerator for something that starts with a K. Because I know we have something in there. Does it start with a K? Is it cut orange? Yeah. <laughs> no hints. Back up, buddy. Oh. Hey, your hair looks that? good. Jacob? No, it does not. Did you get in trouble for it at school today? Yeah. You did? What happened? I had to sign the book. Are you fibbing? Yeah. <laughs> because you didn't get in trouble, right? Yeah, my friends do not like it. <laughs> do I care what your friends think? No. No, I don't. I, I like, like it. it. And you like it. And Daddy likes it. And that's all that matters. I don't like okay, it. Okay, before all the cold air leaves our refrigerator, hurry up and find something that starts with the K. No, from this side on one of the shelves. Hey, I said no hints, Buster. I'm in here. Go, go do your homework. Jelly. No, I want to watch him do it. Jelly. No, jelly does not start with a K. K, K. A stink and a mustard. Does that start with a K? No. No. It started with a K. 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 Milk. That's at the end of <laughs> milk. Does that start with a K? Ketchup. Does that start with a K? <laughs> it doesn't? Say the K sound. K. Now say ketchup. Ketchup. Does it start with a K? <laughs> yes. Yes, I good job. I, I told him to think of an animal, but he wanted me to look at pictures of animals and then maybe he could find it. So we brought up different kinds of animals, but look, like, what is that? A duck horse? <laughs> and then a two-headed snake, and then, ugh, whatever that nasty thing is. I know, that was why I want. What? <laughs> what? what oh. is that? Check out. That is not real life. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, it's not. Of course. <laughs> and then look at this picture. I think we should have typed in real life animals. Hello. Eh? Yeah. From. What, from what movie? Uh, I don't know. What? Four years. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Aww. And then look, there's like an alligator that's dancing or something. Uh. Okay, so let me know if you see an animal that starts with a K. I have Cat. No, that's another C. <laughs> C, C. A, uh -oh. hamster, a hamster lion? <laughs> this thing is cheating, Xander. Yeah, it is. Show everybody your dinosaur that you made at school last week when you learned the letter D. Oh, you guys growling yeah. on each other? That's pretty cool. His tail moves. And you cut all of this out by yourself, didn't yeah. you? But he got stitched. Yeah, he got stitched up because you thought you were supposed to cut his head off. <laughs> Why would you cut his head off? Are you going to hang him up? Yeah. Be careful up there. You taking Santa down? Here, let me help you so you don't pull on it and break it and tear it. You're like a big kid, honey. What? 
<laughs> Can you be quiet? Is that yours? No. Or is it yours? Where's it go, dude? Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is weird. I'm not like sitting there holding it or doing this. You guys look weird over there. So you guys have to watch us make out now. Yeah. Now we're gonna do like all these tag videos. Now you guys ready for them? We're gonna do like five of them in a row. Today, when we're filming this, it's January 13th, which is a very important day in our lives, especially in my life. Um, so we have a lot of new subscribers out there, and I'm sure some of you have never, ever really heard the entire story, which we're not gonna give the entire story still, so I was just rambling again. Amy That's loves it when I ramble. Four years ago today, or yesterday for, for you guys. Today for us, yesterday for you guys. Yeah. Um, I had my cancer removed from my body. It was a scary, scary day. Uh, it was a scary, scary time. We had just moved. All of our friends were back in Houston. We were living in Dallas and found out that I had cancer. It was less than a month from the day we moved to Dallas. Yeah. So just moved away from all of our family and friends that had much of a support group. And then we find out he has cancer. And this was before, this was pre-YouTube. See, I, had, I hadn't been, I, I watched YouTube videos. I watched all the cat videos and all the funny jackass style videos and all that. But this was before we started doing daily vlogs. Um, that was one of the reasons that we, we started doing daily vlogs was because after I beat cancer, I went through chemo and that was still scary times. And it was January 13th, we had cancer removed. July 1st, we started doing daily vlogs. And I just wanted to show my boys that you can get all these different things that happen to you in life and they can be really horrible when you can either face them and you can move forward and do, do the best you can or you could just sit there and wilt away and I decided that I wanted to do everything I could to make sure that my boys would have me in their life for a very long time so I went straight in it I didn't want to sit there and think about it I went ahead and had surgery until they gave me my options as chemo radiation and all these other things maybe just sit back and watch it and I was like Let's just hit it with what we got and take care of it. And Amy was there for me the whole time and yeah. stood by me and was my my support system. I'll always be here. Yeah, that's no right. So, so what, what were your thoughts during that time? <sighs> that was probably the most stressful time of my life and our life as a couple. Because like we said, we just moved away from family and friends. We didn't know anybody in Dallas, well, except for the family that I had there. Um, but they didn't live super close to us. And so it was just, it was very stressful. And Xander was, what, nine months old? He was very young. He was a baby. So it was just, it was a very, very hard time. One that we will always remember, but we'll never go through again. Right? Well, I, I, I'll do as right? best, best <laughs> that I can, you know? <laughs> do, do everything I can. I'm not getting cancer again. Nope. It's not an option. There's no more cancer in our family. We've had enough of it. Uh, and yeah, today's just, it's, it's a special day. We didn't have any big plans for the day or anything. I mean, we have to live on a budget, you know, and make our- It's a school night. It's a school it's a night. night. <laughs> I work, she works. I mean, she doesn't really work, but just kidding. She worked really hard too, but, but I actually have to go to my job. You know, physically leave the house and go do that. And, <sighs> but I do have some comic relief because earlier Eric's like, we need to sit down and vlog about how you felt and I was like, what do you mean how I felt? Like how I felt in, in, case you didn't, in case you didn't know, it's testicular cancer. Yes, that's what I had. It was testicular had. cancer. And I wasn't sure what he was trying to get at. She was like, uh, uh. <laughs> so you want me to describe how it felt? It Is felt that what you're talking hard. About? Like, uh, he's like, no, how you felt during the process. So I'm like, feelings, oh, okay. Emotions. I understand now. But something else funny, kind of, that happened on surgery day. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been bad. It could have been bad. Thank goodness we can laugh about it now. <laughs> but his doctor marked the wrong testicle. Well, to see, be okay, when you have surgery, they usually like they'll use markers and stuff on your body. Like if it's a body part, they're removing. Right. And so on that side of the body, he had like a purple marker, and he like marked that this was like, put the markings on that side because that's the side we're gonna mark. We're gonna have obviously a surgery gonna on. Because he's obviously gonna be knocked out. Right. The procedure. So I can't, can't say, say, oh yeah, it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> so he marks that side, and then I'm like. Because he started to walk away, I was like, that's the wrong side. 
Good times. Yeah, so <laughs> it's funny now, but it almost was not funny because then he would have had two removed. And yeah, I don't know what, 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 what they happens have, then. What will they have done? Could they put the other one back in that wasn't supposed to be removed? Or I don't know. I don't it's know. already awkward enough as it is, guys. Okay, because <laughs> I'm half a man that I was that I used to be. He's still a man, all the way. Half there. No. <laughs> You're not. It just looks different. But you're still a man. <laughs> they told me I could have had a prosthetic. I'm sure you guys wanted to know that. Yeah. I, I said, nah. I'm, that I, I got enough manlyhood here, you know. Manlyhood, what's that? What's manlyhood? 